Hey guys, this is Jackson, and we are going to be looking at Spin Master and Hot Wheels Monster Trucks uh, and see which trucks are better. And uh, you guys should uh, comment down below which uh, company do you think is going to be better. So first, we're going to be starting uh, off with the Monster Mites. So here they are. Now, now the Spin Master Monster Mutt is right here. And here's the Hot Wheels. So you may see a few differences between them and and the correct one is this one, I think. But uh this one, they did a pretty good job trying to uh I kind of like how they made the ears in motion uh, in a Spin Master, but uh, Hot Wheels didn't do as much dots as they as uh, Spin Master did, and I kind of like that that uh, that they're kind of different because uh, they just I like how they're different because then you know which one's Spin Master and which one's Hot Wheels, and then. Uh, on Spin Masters, it is BKT and BKT. There is no Hot Wheels logo on there. And I think this one looks a little bit better because of the tail and then the moving stuff. And this, these are 3D on the Spin Master. Uh, these aren't, but these, these both, the collars and the uh, little tag for the collars are uh, 3D. Uh, red rims and chrome rims. The, there is a difference between the tongues, though. This one, I think, is right. The Spin Master, where it goes down instead of just sticking right out. And and uh, another difference on these trucks is that right here, this, this ends... Uh, earlier than the Hot Wheels version. I think it looks a lot better on the Spin Master version because, uh, oh, they also have these little wheelie bars on the back of, of Spin Masters, and then there's none of that stuff. So it's the, this little sticking out part right there. See that? It just sticks out. And, uh, and you should, uh, let me know which, tr which, uh, truck out of the two companies is better, Spin Master or Hot Wheels. But we didn't look, look at them very much, so let's look at them, see the differences. So Hot Wheels, for some reason they did all of these little holes i don't know what those are for and then spin master didn't which i think they corrected that they corrected that and then the first ever monster might with a tail right there which is really nice uh but i think i think they both look good but another correction that spin master made i was just talking about this a few minutes ago that this has more spots that's correct. Red rims on this also looks really cool. And I think we we should take a look at these tongues again, though. See how that one goes down a little bit more, and then this one sticks out, and write red for that. Of course, the yeah, they, they did that wrong right there with adding that blue. It's supposed to be like that. Overall, I think these these are some pretty cool trucks, but I really think Spin Master did a really good job. Hot Wheels tried, though. I really think uh, Spin Master did a better job on this. But, but the front windows, see how that's a kind of different? Well, it makes it look cooler on this one. 
But on this one, it's just a weird-looking window. This one actually looks like the real truck. See that weird window and then a nice window right there? Um, it is just a really good truck. Right, right here it goes out, but it's the teeth are in 3D, like on the Spin Master one. And now we are going to be taking a look at the Pirate's Curse trucks. Now, now you could already probably see a few differences on the truck. First, I want to mention uh, is that the swords, the swords, look at them swords. So, the swords, if you look at them, Spin Master added, uh, like, silver on it, and then they're tinier. Look at Hot Wheels, though. Look at that. It's, it's just huge. It's a huge thing, and I don't know why they didn't paint it at all. It, it makes it look so bad. And then, uh, there is a little bit of a difference of color in them. I don't think you guys could see it, though. And, uh, I, and then another, uh, thing, though, is that Hot Wheels did and Spin Master didn't, but they're gonna fix that on the revised version. Is that, see that gold tooth on the Hot Wheels version? You don't see that on the Spin Master version. Then another correction that they made is that this, this thing right there, see, see those things right there? This is accurate. This isn't. And this is the window too. It's the window on Hot Wheels. It's not on this one. It's not the window. But uh, they, Spin Master didn't do the little gold trim because it's too tiny to do that. But look at the hat difference. Huge hat compared to a smaller hat. Which I think the Spin Master one, from the top it kind of looks kind of weird. Uh, same rim color. Uh face kind of the same but this one just weird this one actually looks really nice i like i like the hot wheels one uh they are pretty much the same but this one's more of like a gray but i don't think you guys can notice that and there's not much other things to mention about these trucks so i think yeah we're we're going to be moving on to the Grave Diggers. And here they are. Now, you guys would be thinking... Oh, sorry about that. That, uh... That this would be, like, no difference. Well, Spin Master have even, like, they're... Their graphics are so cr clear and stuff. And then on the Hot Wheels version, it's not clear. And then another thing that's on these trucks is that there is a there is a silver thing around the headlights on the uh Spin Master version and on and on uh this it don't have that little trim. And then yes, uh the Spin Masters are are wider. The bodies are the tires kind of are in a way. Cuz uh Hot Wheels wasn't doing a uh, real 164 scale. And it wasn't correct 164 scale and well, Spin Master said it was 
true 164 scale. Which I think is really nice that they made it true 164 scale. And they're, they're pretty much the same trucks. Just clear graphics. And then, uh, I don't, you guys won't be able to see that, but they're, uh, on one of these gravestones up here, there is a, uh, Spinmaster logo on them. And on this one, it's a Hot Wheels logo on one of them. And uh, Spin Masters have a little tiny driver inside them. And then on here, in the Hot Wheels, they don't. And then uh, if you look at the chassis right there, there's this. And when Hot Wheels did it, they didn't do this, which is more realistic because on real monster trucks, they have this tip and then it just goes down for a while. Well, Hot Wheels just did like exhaust, which is kind of weird. And then there is a rim difference. This is charcoal gray and then uh, chrome. They're really good trucks, but I think I I like uh, the Spin Master one better. Just the way that the rims look, it's really cool when it gets into the light. Now we will be moving on to the Gas Monkey Garages. And here they are. Now, there, there isn't much difference in these ones, uh, but there is a few little things that a lot of people been wanting. So many people. Like Monster Jam OCD and a lot of people. So many. And I've been wanting some, some of these uh, stripes right here. And this is the Spin Master version. See them stripes? Well, the stripes are it on the Hot Wheels version. And then, uh, and then, uh, if you zoom in there, there's like a Dallas, Texas logo on there. It, well, if you look very close, Dallas, Texas, and then, uh, there, that is, and that isn't a thing on this, the Hot Wheels version on there, and guess what, tail light printing, and also, uh, license plate printing. So, that's really nice. Uh, there's grill printing right there. But, on the Hot Wheels, look. No tail light printing or, and, no. See that? No black for grill printing. Which... So many people want it. And on the back of this, it does say Dallas, Texas, which isn't a thing on the Hot Wheels version because they don't have any Dallas, Texas on, on their trucks for some reason. So now we will be moving on to the dragons now there is quite a few differences but they're not that big so these two trucks look so nice hot wheels they tried though they tried spin master 
they it looks so good look at the horns look at the horn difference okay okay look at the horn difference right there look at that it's like that and then this is just like it 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 it, it doesn't look very realistic like the truck does and then this is the correct body on the Spin Master, which I think this this uh, truck, the Hot Wheels, they did really good. They did really good, but where the windows are, the way the windows are, and the way the window is and stuff, it's correct. And then if you really look on the hot on the spin master version see those little nostrils right there which isn't a thing on that which i like that they removed whatever this thing is i don't know what that is but uh this is 3d but the mouth is correct though the mouth. See the mouth? And correct fire. They kind of look the same, but there is a little bit of a difference in the fire. And the teeth are 3D. Which isn't 3D on the Hot Wheels version. And... There's... Not really any differences in these trucks, except for this. This gets a little higher than this. So now we will be moving on to the jesters, which aren't the same jesters, but they look exactly the same, except they are different colors. So, the purple one is the spin master one only reason i'm doing doing uh this one with this one is because uh hot wheels made other jesters and stuff so we and these both have some kind of las vegas thing on them so this one is some with the world finals and I actually got to see this truck at the World Finals. And it's it's that uh, classic welcome with circles. Welcome to Las Vegas. Monster Jam, Las Vegas. This is like so common to see in pictures of Las Vegas. And then there is the star. And then look at the... Look at the Spin Master version. It's it's so much clearer than the Hot Wheels version right there. I know, but this just looks so cool. Jester is one of my favorite trucks. Summer Digger in real life is my favorite truck. And, uh... Okay. And... Uh, there is a lot of design on this truck. Just a land. <laughs> I just noticed that. That's on, that's not on the Hot Wheels version. I just noticed that. That's so funny. And, okay, so the Monster Jam logo is in the same spot. But uh, there is no Hot Wheels there because this is Spin Master, not Hot Wheels. And this is sparkly. This isn't sparkly. But uh, if you look really close there, there's like this writing on there. Which is supposed to be that, but you can't really see it on the purple jester very well unless you lift it up into the air and see that. And 
I think Spin Master did a better job. Especially that Hot Wheels didn't make the purple jester, which if they did, I would be really happy. But sadly, Feld shut them down. So now we're just going to be looking at stuff that comes with the trucks and just looking at trucks that that uh, Hot Wheels did not make, not even one version of. And we have the Bro Dozer. Finally. 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 The Bro Dozer is finally here. Made in a die cast form. Now, if you ever go to a show, you're not going to see this on it because they only had it on for the first few times they ran it. And they did a great job. Tail light printing on it. Uh, a Monster Jam logo. It says Bro Dozer right there. It has that little uh, Bro Dozer thing on it. And then the back is the shape that it has in real life. Which is really cool. And, uh, there... I don't, there's not going to be a revised version of this because they did everything right. So, now we will be taking a look at the wildflower. Now, there is a little bit of complaints about this truck is that there isn't very much vines on this truck. Other than that, everything's right. It even looks like the this top is bolted on and stuff. It's it's really cool. But there is a revised version. I went to a Walmart yesterday or something, and uh, there was a revised version with like lime green rims on it, and I was like, that looks awesome. Same with the the Pirate's Curse, but with red rims, because they probably changed that tooth that was on him, that was, that wasn't on there, and this truck looks so nice, I love it, it is a little bit of a thin, uh, thing to fit the body on, because, of course, there's that hanging out part of it and stuff, which I really like. I can't wait for the time flies that they make. It's going to be so cool. And the bottom of it is like chrome pink. It is so cool. And now we will be taking a look at the Bounty Hunter. It is a very nice truck. I love it. There is a few wrong things about this truck. Of course, no Punisher Skull right there. No Punisher Skull. And then, uh, you guys could probably barely see that camo there, but there is camo on the truck. Uh, blue rims. And then on the top it says TexasTruckWorks.com and then their logo TTW, uh, another TTW on the back, and headlight printing. It, it's very nice. And then on this one there is grill printing. So, I really like this truck. It's a pretty heavy truck. And now we are going to be looking at some stuff. You guys may, may know that they come with these or may not know. If you've ever gone, gone into a Target or a Walmart or something and the single packs, they'll have these little uh, figures. 
which are really cool. I like them. So, so that blue one was for the bounty hunter. And then the red one was for the Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And then the, uh, what color is that brown one? Is for the Pirate's Curse. But there is something on them, though. On this red one, though. There is a little something on it. See those little lines in a way? Kind of see them lines? Look on the back of that one, no lines. See lines? No lines. Which I think is really cool that they that they put the lines in for the girl's hair. Which is really nice that they did that. And this will be the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh I think the next video that I'm going to be doing is the Megalodon Monster Dirt Starter Set. I'll, I'll see, see you guys next time. And we'll, we'll see how those, how those Megalodons look in the next video. Bye-bye.